Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of a squared plus b squared, given that a squared plus 1 multiplied by b squared plus 4 is equal to 10ab minus 5. Now, to solve this problem, let us start by rearranging the given equation. What we are going to do is that we will expand these two brackets. We have a squared times b squared a squared times 4, 1 times b squared, and lastly, 1 times 4. Now let us move these two terms over to the left-hand side. We have minus 10 ab and plus 5. And of course, we have 0 left on the right-hand side. Now the secret to solving this problem is to expand this term, or rather to break it apart into minus 4ab minus 6ab. Of course, you know that minus 4ab minus 6ab is going to give us minus 10ab. Now, this is how we are going to reorder the left-hand side. We have 4a squared minus 4ab plus b squared. These three are taken. We are now left with a squared b squared. And then we have 4 plus 5, of course, is equal to 9, minus 6ab and plus 9. And this is equal to 0. Now, we group this into two sets. Notice that we can factorize this and we can also factorize this. To factorize this, let us use the table method. What are the factors of 4a squared? Of course, they are 2a and 2a. What are the factors of b squared? We have b and b. But since this is negative, let this be minus b and let that be minus b. Now, when you multiply 2a by minus b, of course, you know that you have 2 minus 2ab. And exactly the same thing when you multiply this by that, minus 2ab. And you know that minus 2ab minus 2ab is going to give us minus 4ab. So, this is the same as 2a minus b squared because we have 2a minus b times 2a minus b. Now, here, doing the same thing, the factors of a squared b squared are a, b, and a, b. And the factors of 9 are 3 and 3. But once more, the middle term is negative. So let this be minus 3 and let that be minus 3. Of course, you know that minus 3 times minus 3 is still going to give us plus 9. Now, when we multiply this by this, that is minus 3 times AB. Exactly the same thing when we multiply this by this, minus 3 times AB. And of course, minus 3AB minus 3AB is going to give us the middle term, which is minus 6AB. So once more, when you factorize this, you have a, b minus 3 squared. Because you have a, b minus 3 times a, b minus 3, which is going to give us this. And of course, you know that this is equal to 0. Now, what information do we get from this line? We have that the sum of two squares is equal to 0. But of course, you know that a square must always be positive. So this is positive and that is positive. So this equation is telling us that a positive number plus another positive number is equal to zero. And of course, you know that this is impossible, except those two numbers are zero themselves. So the only way that this equation is going to be true is if two a minus b is equal to 0 and a b minus 3 is also equal to 0. And from this equation, we have that 
2a is equal to b. While from this equation, we have that ab is equal to 3. When we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we have that a is equal to b over 2. We have found a as b over 2. When we substitute b over 2 for a in this second equation, we have b over 2 multiplied by b, and this is still equal to 3. Of course, b times b is b squared divided by 2. This is equal to 3. When we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, we have that b squared is equal to 3 times 2, which is 6. Now that we have found b, let us come back to this equation. Let us square both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that a squared is equal to b squared over 4. We already know that b squared is equal to 6. So from here, we have that a squared is equal to 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. So we have found a squared and we have found b squared. Now, before we do the final calculation, let us check if our results are right. Substituting into the original equation, we have a squared plus 1. That is 3 over 2 plus 1 multiplied by b squared plus 4. That is 6 plus 4. And is this equal to 10ab? That is 10 times 3 minus 5. Now, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3, 5. So we have 5 over 2. Of course, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Is this equal to 30 minus 5? 2 into itself is 1. Into 10 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And of course, you know that 25 is equal to 30 minus 5, which is 25. So these results satisfy the given equation. Now, to find a squared plus b squared, we simply add these two. So we have that a squared plus b squared is equal to 3 over 2 plus 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. So this is equal to 15 over 2. So the value of a squared plus b, b squared when this equation holds is 15 over 2. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.